Well, the class of 2020 is struggling to get its career off the ground or even land a decent job because of the pandemic's epic hit to the job market. Now, the fallout could cloud the employment picture of the class of 2021, which is going into the labor force at a time that the nation's jobless rate is still pretty elevated. Dr. James Hurley is president of Tarleton State University in Texas. And are students also running up against people who are reentering the workforce after COVID layoffs? Yes. Uh, good morning, Donna. Thanks for having me on again. It's always a pleasure speaking with you folks out in San Diego. Yeah, I, I think you summed it up pretty well there, right? This is a perfect storm for a lot of things that could go um, uh, in the wrong direction for, for graduates and certainly uh, prospective college students. I think that we really have to remain focused that all of us, there's not a single person that was insulated from the effects of, of COVID-19, certainly the economy is one of them. We are dealing with the aftermath and trying to figure out what this new normal looks like moving forward. And certainly the, the increase in demand for technology and the jobs that are now moving into 22nd century. And then we, we no longer even talk about educating students in a 21st century mode because the technology has just increased so quickly. Uh, of course, in higher ed, it was moving there anyways. But I think it's a perfect storm. You know, a lot of students uh, graduated with degrees that two, three years ago, four years ago, when they started their baccalaureate pathway, those jobs were in high pursuit. And now those jobs may not be in high demand because of COVID-19 and what's happened. So... <laughs> You know, what should a new grad do to try to get that foot in the door to, you know, to the job that sort of coincides with their path of education? Yeah, that's a, that's a good, fair question. We're, we're asking the same, and, and we're spending a lot of time with our graduates, and, and we have advisors, academic advisors, career um, coaches, career counselors, faculty, staff, presidents, right? I mean, I have a lot of conversation with with, with students that are out there looking for that perfect first job. And what I tell students is don't look for the perfect first job. Find a first job, first and foremost. Uh, and hopefully we have trained them through their gen ed requirements, right? You, we all remember in college that we took a kind of a, a, a renaissance approach to learning. We had to learn things that we absolutely knew we were not going to pursue, but it was important for us. Uh, to learn a little about each of those subjects. And so hopefully this renaissance approach will give them at least a, a, enough knowledge to begin a, a career pathway and then quickly pivot into the pathway that they um, set out to achieve. They, I did read a jobs report where, and correct me, Don, if you know the information, there's like nine and a half million available jobs right. across the country. But those jobs are, you know, primarily service and entry level. But also they may require a skill set that a bachelor's or master's degree may not uh, fulfill. And so we also have to do a better job at the universities and colleges of in teaching and, and um, educating these students on what are the gainful employment opportunities you will have if you pursue this certain degree, whatever that degree, choose any of them. Well, and that's, you know, that's that's the question. It's like if you have a kid who's going to college, it, you're the president of a university, you tell them, you know, what do you what do you tell those kids to go for? Well, I, I think it's, it, you, number one, we have to realize the part of the region that we serve in Texas, we're a comprehensive regional university. And, and, and our tentacles here at Tarleton are pretty widespread because we're close to the Metroplex you know, we are the third largest institution in terms of, of the number of students that come from um, more Texas counties. So we're only behind Texas A&M and UT. We're third in terms of the number of counties represented in our student body. So we are very, very vast uh, in terms of where our students come from. So we have to think about, okay, what are the regional marketplace needs? And we have to ensure that our programmatic development is aligned with those pro, with those marketplace demands and needs, so our students are able to gainfully employ themselves post graduation. So we have to do a better job of having those conversations.
You may love a certain field of study, but but there's a slim chance that that field of study is going to provide, you know, employment opportunities for you long term. Dr. James Hurley, president of Tarleton State University. I am so sorry, sir. We are out of time, but I would love to have you back. Thanks, Don.